Hi, welcome back to the AI Explorer. What if we told you that the future of working with massive amounts of text, way beyond the limits of current AI models, isn't about bigger windows but smarter ones? Today we're breaking down a groundbreaking research paper from MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory called Recursive Language Models, or RLMs, a new way of thinking about how language models process long contexts. Imagine asking a state-of-the-art model like GPT-5 to analyze millions of tokens of text. Under the hood, even the best language models struggle as the input gets longer. This problem is called context rot, where the quality of the model's output degrades as the context grows, even if there's enough raw token capacity. Traditional approaches try to compress or summarize context so it fits into a model's context window. But summarization is imperfect, you inevitably lose details. The key insight of this MIT paper is radical. Don't force all the context into the model's neural network at once. Instead, treat the context as an environment the model can interact with programmatically. So, what exactly are recursive language models? At its core, an RLM is not a new model architecture, it's an inference strategy. When you submit a prompt to an RLM, it doesn't just feed that text directly into the language model. Instead, the system loads the entire input prompt into an external environment, like a Python RePL, essentially a workspace with a variable holding all the context. The language model can then write and execute code in that environment to query itself recursively on smaller parts of the context. This means if you have a massive document, the model could look at a slice of the text, generate a subquery, call itself again on that subquery, repeat until it has pieced together an answer. All of this happens without ever trying to cram the entire document into one giant token window. That's the recursive part. It keeps calling itself on progressively focused tasks. Why is this important? The researchers evaluated RLMs on a wide range of long-context tasks, including reasoning over millions of tokens, and compared them to both standard large language model calls and to other inference scaffolds like summarization or retrieval-based techniques. What they found is striking. RLMs can handle up to two orders of magnitude more input text than traditional models. On very long information-dense tasks, RLMs dramatically outperform models like GPT-5 and other baselines. They do this while keeping inference costs comparable, sometimes even cheaper, than feeding giant contexts directly into a model. What makes RLMs especially compelling is that this isn't about training new models from scratch. It's about rethinking how we use existing ones. Rather than building ever bigger context windows, RLMs let models reason through text like a skilled investigator, slicing up data and calling themselves recursively to build an answer. In essence, this approach pushes past the context window wall that's been a core limitation of generative AI, proving a principled way to scale inference without scaling the model size or token capacity. In the future, Researchers believe that training models explicitly to operate as RLMs, with this recursive reasoning in mind, could unlock even greater performance and efficiency. For anyone building AI systems that need to understand long documents, perform deep reasoning, or break down complex tasks, recursive language models could be a major step forward. If you found this breakdown helpful, smash that like button and stay tuned for more deep dives into the cutting edge of AI research here on the AI Explorer.